fantastic pictures of this telescope. Go great. web, go web. Yes, go web. Ironically enough, as we marvel on uh, this view from the upper stage camera, this will be humanity's last view of the James Webb te Space Telescope as it moves to its work uh, place about a million miles away from Earth. Astronomers call it the penguin and the egg. And what you're seeing are a very old galaxy, which is the egg to the le uh, left. And on the right, you see this incredibly distorted galaxy, which was once a spiral galaxy. And these two are actually interacting with each other. And the gravitational attraction is basically tearing that galaxy up and breaking the spirals. And it's basically at the same time, pulling gas and stars out of the what was a spiral galaxy, and they are crashing in into each other and creating waves of uh, new star formation as these two galaxies merge. T minus 30 seconds and counting. Standing by for terminal count. At two the DDO, attention for the count final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, unité, top. And we have engine start. And liftoff. Décollage, liftoff from a tropical rainforest to the edge of time itself. James Webb begins a voyage back to the birth of the universe. Punching a hole through the clouds, 20 seconds into the flight, good pitch program reported. Vehicle performance is nominal. Ariane 5 rocket continues uh, to fly uphill in nominal fashion. So let's continue the mission. And Raphael, uh, this is a view uh, from the upper stage camera called the Vicky Cam, looking back at the James Webb Space Telescope. This is on about a 20 second delay or so because of the way the imagery is processed uh, here in the control room. There's your telescope ready to unfurl uh, its uh, wings ba basically. We're 13 minutes, 55 seconds into the flight. Jean-Luc uh, Boyer, the uh, range operations manager, continues to report a nominal performance for James Webb. And again, uh, Luce Fabriguet from the European Space Agency. Uh, how is this uh, trajectory? And there is the view uh, from the upper stage camera on the Ariane 5 looking at the James Webb Space Telescope as it moves uh, gently away from its launch vehicle. I'm really excited about uh, the very early universe. So we built Webb to look for the very first galaxies that formed in the universe. We've already found a galaxy that uh, was present 300 million years after the Big Bang. And as we start to study more of these with Webb, we've found a lot of surprises. These galaxies are very massive, they're very bright. And that raises the question, how did they get so big and so bright so quickly? 
in the early universe. So as we do more and more observations with Webb, we will be able to answer that question. And that is really a key question in understanding how the universe was born and how it's evolving.